Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So here I have another inks comparison video and this is my favourite Sheen inks comparison number one. So I think with that let's swab up some of these inks. So I get a lot of questions on how I do these ink videos. So I decided I would add this to the front of each of the ink videos. I put links in the descriptions, but I know some of you watch this on TVs or mobile devices, so you don't get to see this. So first off, the paper is the number one question I get asked. What paper do I use for these ink comparison videos? So this is the original Tomoe River. This is 52 GSM and it is the white, not the cream, the white. Where possible, I try to go for the white because the cream can actually change the color of the ink just a little bit. So this is Tomoe River 52 GSM in the white. Um, a lot of people get confused as well because I have what looks to be a grid on this page and it's actually an Oxford Optic pad. These are the pads that I actually use when I'm writing my uh, writing samples for pen reviews or in my currently ink. So they have these little squares up here. Uh, I just use that because it's a good guide for me. When I put this very thin sheet of Tomoe River over, I can actually see squares. So it helps me write a little bit sort of straight uh, on the page. Not always, but sometimes it does. The, the other thing that I also have is a I have a bottle of water, plain water, and uh, I dip my nib in here. So for consistency, I use the same fountain pen, or <laughs> I guess it's not a fountain pen. It's using a fountain pen nib, though. This is a 3D printed pen from William Shakur in the UK. So he prints this uh, material 3D and it has a number eight size Bok nib which I can unscrew and you can see there so it is just a dip pen holder for a number eight size Bok nib and the idea is I want to have consistency with the writing sample so I use this I dip it in the ink uh, I write and then I will dip it in here and I will rinse the nib off several times and I will dry it. And then at that point, uh, I will then go on to do the next ink swatch and the next writing sample. So there you have it. That's uh, how I do my ink swatches. So I just wanted to show you uh, that here. Now on to the ink comparison video. So the first ink I have here is actually a long sold out ink. Uh, Blackstone uh, did shut their doors just before the pandemic uh, hit, unfortunately, and uh, we haven't seen them since. But I do have some old Blackstone ink bottles. Uh, they do come from Australia. And uh, this one is Sydney Harbour Blue. So I think let's take a look at this ink. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And... Uh, these are sheening inks, so they are very thick uh, inks in terms of dye, so they're not that watery or uh, sort of lubricated as such. So th these do sheen quite a lot, so uh, hopefully you'll see some of the sheen on this video. Uh, we'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a wet or broad or dry or a narrow writing nib. and. Uh, in a wet or broad nib, it should bring out the sheen a lot more. So this is Blackstone. And it is Sydney Harbour Blue. Which is quite a dark blue. Uh, I always, for some reason, think of a... a uh, harbour water as being uh, a little bit more on the lighter side uh, than dark uh, you'll be able to see here that around the rim of that bottle there you should hopefully see some red sheen the next ink here is a blackstone and this is a barrier reef blue so we'll do an ink swatch here 
and I think this is the kind of blue that I was expecting really from uh, Blackstone Sydney Harbour Blue. Uh, I personally prefer lighter blues, more cerulean or turquoisey blues. Uh, although this isn't turquoise or cerulean, I would say um, it probably does get a little bit more closer. We'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib and to try and bring out that sheen uh, just a little bit more. So this is a Blackstone. And it is Barrier Reef Blue. But this is an ink that I really do love. Uh, it is quite a sheeny ink. You'll see a little bit of sheen there around the rim of the bottle. The next ink here is uh, a Diamine ink, and this is Colt Pen's Maureen. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again, like these sheening inks are quite viscousy. So uh, quite a, a thick ink. And we'll do a second pass over the top half, just to show the difference between a wet uh, and a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib. And to also bring out that sheen as well, because I think that's what you're uh, looking at in this video is uh, the, the sheen elements uh, of, of these inks anyway. Uh, and they are quite good. So this is... Uh, diamine and it's Colt Pens actually, so I'll put in here Diamine Colt Pens and it is Maureen. But that is, is another nice uh, shade of ink. And I just want to show you the, the bottle here again. You'll see a lovely red sheen around the rim of that bottle. The next ink here is Diamine Purple Rain, which is a German exclusive. So you can only buy this in Germany from a Germany retailer. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And again, quite a viscousy, uh, thick ink. You can see that there. Uh, it is, it's almost like a paint, I would say. It's quite thick. Now, we'll do a second pass over the top half. Again, just to show the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib. And I will show you the rim of this bottle in a little bit because uh, it is quite gorgeous. And uh, I have to say that this is definitely uh, one of the, the top favorite sheening inks that I have. Um, you do have to be a little bit careful, though, putting these in... Uh, expensive pens or uh, demonstrators or anything that could possibly uh, stain because as they are thick inks they have a lot of dye in them so you can get them to stain so this is a uh, diamine and uh, it is purple rain And you'll just see that there. But I want to show you the, the rim of this bottle because look at that. Look at that gold sheen. It really is quite nice. And I did actually have problems getting that cap off the bottle because uh, when, when you get a thick ink like this, it will stick solid. The next ink here is a Diamine Skull and Roses. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now this is a little bit more of a, a traditional blue. Uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit of a Bay State blue uh, from Noodlers. We'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a wet and a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib. And to try and see some of that sheen as well. So this is Diamine, Skull and Roses. And again, this is a uh, German exclusive. So again, you can only buy it from German retailers. 
uh, that stock German uh, Diamine inks. And then the last ink here is Diamine Smoke on the Water, which again is another German exclusive. So we'll do uh, an ink swatch. Now this is a little bit more of a, a greenish teal colored ink. Um, and I, I'd say that it, it's a very thick uh, ink. So I'm just gonna have to just dip that a little bit more there. Um, we'll do a second pass over the top half just show the difference between a wet or a broad or dry or a narrow writing nib. And I'm going to put a bit more there because I had to do a little bit more on the bottom because it was getting becoming quite dry. So this is Diamine. And it is Smoke on the Water. Uh, but if you like teal inks, this can be quite nice. I also want to show you the, the rim of the bottle here because there is quite a bit of red sheen going on around the threads there. So I think let's now take a look at these inks now that they have dried. So the first ink here is a Blackstone Sydney Harbour Blue. And if I bring you a close-up of this ink, uh, can you see the difference between a wet or broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib? It's a little bit hard to say, I would say there. It, it's... Uh, there is a little bit of difference, but it's not substantial. Uh, can you see any shading going on in the pooled area? There definitely is some darker areas, so you can see some shading. Uh, again, though, not a huge amount. Uh, can you see any sheen? Yes, you can. Look at that red sheen. That is intense. So uh, Blackstone Sydney Harbour Blue is a really nice sheening ink. Uh, one that I do like going to or, or back to quite a lot. The next thing here is Blackstone Barrier Reef Blue. And, and this is my more of my favourite of the two inks because it's a little bit more of a lighter blue and I'm not that into really, really dark blue inks. So I think if we bring that closer to the camera, you can see... Uh, is there a difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib? Definitely there is. You can see on a dry or a narrow writing nib, it's going to be a much, much lighter blue. Uh, is there shading going on in the pooled area? There's definitely darker spots. So, yes, there is some shading going on. Uh, and then is there any sheen? Yes, a lot of red sheen there. So, this is quite, again, intense. Maybe not as bright a red sheen as uh, Blackstone Sydney Harbour Blue, but still it does have quite a bit of sheen to it. The next ink here is Diamine, and this is Colpens Maureen. And, and this is more of a, I want to say, towards a purple or a blur, probably a blurple, not a purple. Um, it's, it's more of a blue... So a mid-range between the two um, uh, Blackstone inks there. And uh, you will see quite a bit of sheen on this one. So if I bring this closer to the camera, can you see the difference between a wet or broad or dry or a narrow writing nib? You can see a, a difference there, but it's mostly because of the sheen, uh, not because of the lighter. Is there any shading going on in that pooled area? A little bit, but again, it's the sheen is actually hiding most of it. And then, is there any sheen? Yeah, of course there is. Look at that. That is uh, an intense sheen that you've got going on there. Uh, and you can see it more so in that writing sample there. So, uh, very, very nice uh, coloured ink. Uh, a beautiful red sheen going on there. The next ink here is Diamine and it's Purple Rain. And uh, this is uh, a, another ink that that I do like. It's definitely a purple. And typically I have found that most purple inks, uh, if they're going to sheen, if they're going to have a high saturation of dye concentrate, then it's going to sheen a, a gold or greenish gold. Mostly it's a, a gold uh, sheen. So if I bring this closer to the camera, you'll see here, is there any difference between a wet or broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib? Uh, there definitely is, but unfortunately it's being masked mostly by the sheen is there shading going on in the pooled area yeah definitely there is some shading but again 
it's being masked by the sheen and is there any sheen going on yes there is but as you can see there's a huge amount of gold sheen over the the uh, wet uh, top half of that ink swatch so uh beautiful gold sheen but uh, you're going to find it difficult actually getting that ink to shade. The next ink is Diamond Skull and Roses, and I always think of this more so as the equivalent of uh, Nitrogen from Organic Studios. Although I'd have to say, I think probably Diamond Cold Pens Maureen actually uh, is probably slightly better in in that essence now i'll bring this closer can you see the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib you definitely can but again it's masked by all of that sheen is there shading going on there's definitely some shading in that pulled area again though it is being masked by that sheen and look at that there's a lot of red sheen going on there uh, and you'll see that in the writing sample as well now, one thing I should mention about a lot of these inks, especially uh, these ones that are going to sheen a lot, is that this is Tomoe River paper. So uh, if you want to bring out the sheen on uh, the page, then Tomoe River will probably be the best paper for you to do that. If you're going to write this in a journal or write this on a letter, then just be wary that when you have multiple pages that touch, even when that ink is dry, it is going to stick like glue. So I would actually suggest not writing in a notebook with a sheening ink, certainly one of these, because the pages are going to stick together. Likewise, if you're going to write a letter, and I've had a number of people do this to me, where they've written a letter and I've literally had to peel the, the, the first sheet and the second sheet apart because that ink has almost acted like a glue even though it was dry when it got the the pages got folded so just bear that one in mind but that is a beautiful uh, colored ink and then the last ink here is diamine and it's smoke on the water and um this is a green or a teal colored ink uh can you see the difference between a wet or broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib you definitely can but Again, the sheen is just masking that. Is there shading going on? There's definitely some shading in the pulled area. Again, though, the sheen is masking that. And then, is there any sheen? Yeah, there's there's a lot of sheen there. Even where I put this on a little bit more thicker down here uh, at the bottom, you can see there's red sheen there as well. Uh, a huge amount of sheen. And I what I want to do is touch that and... It's not actually um, transferring to my finger at the moment, but it can do. And and that's where the, the sheen will, or the elements of the sheen, that, that red or in here, the gold or, or the red here, is never going to actually fully dry. So just be aware of that with sheen inks or sheen monster inks, because that is one thing uh, one of the downsides to these inks they, they take a long time to dry but also uh you have to be careful because pages will stick together so there you have it that's my favorite sheen inks comparison number one if there are any of these inks that you like do let me know in the comments below likewise if there are any other inks you'd like me to check out do let me know in the comments below so that's my favourite Sheen Inks comparison number one. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.